Hey there, um, I was just on the phone with a client and I kind of want to share with you something that I just was telling them and um, the biggest things I think are missing when you're dealing with as a, as a author speaker as well as any kind of business online, there's three elements. One, two, three, one, two, three, three things you want to make sure you have to get super flat. And number one is your message. So what actually is your message? Now, Believe it or not, the number two is number one. So I'm going to kind of go back. But number two is your market. Your who? Your Homer Simpson. I always call it the Homer Simpson conversation. So when I think of a who in your business, you should be able to literally go online, find that kind of person, either cartoon or real, print it out and put it up on next to your computer or in your office and say, this is who we're talking to every single time we do an ad, we do copy, we do advertising. Anytime we do anything, that is a person. Now, Homer Simpson, and why I say that, we now we know how kind of old he is, right? 40 something. We know he's married or not. We know how many kids he's got. You know if he's in the burbs or not. You know what kind of car he's got. We even know what kind of beer he drinks. We know what kind of friends he has. We know what kind of bar he goes to. Like it's super clear, right? So the point is, is that getting really clear on your who, which is your market, is key. And then based on that, what is your message? What's your message to your market? Uh, worst thing you can say is, worst thing you can say is, oh, our business does everything for everyone. Eh, wrong answer. But what you need to do is figure out what is your, let's say it together, market. What's your message to that market that resonates with that message? And then the third thing is what's the media? And media is all over the place. There could be Google AdWords is one, obviously. Facebook AdWords is one. Blogging is one. Content's one. Different kind of social media is one. Email marketing is another. Uh, direct response marketing on billboards. Yes, they're still alive. Radio, still alive. Newspaper, still alive. Um, magazines, still alive. Um, TV ads, still alive. And then we have the good old-fashioned just networks, different kinds of Google ad networks that are key. So, um those are the three things in any business. Let's say them together. What is your market? What's your message? And what's your media? And we're having this quick conversation. It's only been two seconds or two minutes at this point. But when I consult with people on their business, I literally go in depth. What is really your market? Like clearly. what Like super, super hone it in. And then what really is that message that's going to resonate? And we've got to test it and see if it works. And then third thing is really where is your market? Where are they? Do you need to go to conferences? Do you need to go to trade shows? Do you need to, you know, just do Facebook ads? I don't know. Maybe that doesn't work. LinkedIn ads. So I just wanted to share with you something I'm doing right now with one of my clients and going through this really in-depth process. It's really a deep dive marketing process. If you, that's something that you feel that your company needs and you guys are spinning around in circles like a lot of companies do, like they're going in all kinds of places and they're not getting super clear, I'd love to talk to you. Again, I'm going to be really focusing on those three elements. But we go deep dive, deep, deep dive, not just the three minutes here. So again, love to talk to you. My name is Heather Havenwood and uh, go to callwithheather.com, schedule a conversation, and let's have a deep dive with you and your team. Thanks.